It's very hard to speak after all of these uh, extraordinary things that we heard about Rabbi David. And I really am humbled that Rav God asked me to be here tonight. But in a way I represent a number of different um, pieces of the puzzle that come together tonight. I was Zoche as a shliach in Morocco in Tavshin Mem Gimel, Tavshin Mem Dalid, to work with Rabbi David in his translating of the Tanya Kadisha into Arabic. He would write it in uh, Ktav Rashi, and I w had the job of typing it up and preparing it for print. And I used to go to his office each day to show him what I did, make sure there was no mistakes. He would re visit it over, always treated me with the utmost their hurts, which I didn't deserve. I was a young boy. I was 19, 20 years old at that time. And he was the Mefakeach of Otsra Torah. But that was Rabbi David. I also know him because of his work, as I was a shliach, his work with Chabad. I have my cousin who's here with us also tonight, Rabbi Ruvin Matusov, who spoke by the, by, the, by, the, by the Levaya. Rabbi David was a full partner with Chabad. He invited me as a student to come and speak and do classes in Otsra Torah and Neve Shalom, encouraged us to do more and more together. There was no separation, there was no politics, there was no uh, division. Everything was Lemana Torah. I also know from my father in law, Lava Shalom, Chacham Yehuda Bitbol, Lava Shalom, that there was a school in Marrakesh. And there was a time when there was almost no students left. And Otsara Torah was thinking that it's time to close the school down because there's no students left. And there was only one, one or two students left. And Rabbi David came to speak with my father-in-law and they decided they're not closing the school down. Even if there's one child left, as long as there's one child who still needs to learn Torah, it's gonna make it happen. It was a partnership. My father-in-law sponsored the teacher and Rabbi David made sure that the, school, that the school stayed open. There's, no, there's not too much time, so I'm just going to tie it in very, very briefly with two lessons that we learned because we're standing right now a few days before Yud Shvat, which is the Shloshim. Yud Aleph Shvat is the Shloshim of Rabbi David. And this year is going to be 70 years of the passing of the, of the previous Lubavitcher Rebbe, Rabbi Yosef Yitzchak, and the the time that the Rebbe assumed the leadership of Chabad, and in the Ma'amar of Bati Legani that the Rebbe speaks about, which this year is based on Ot Yud, which would be the 10th of the 20 chapters of Bati Legani, there are two very important lessons that the, that the Rebbe brings out, and the Rebbe cried when he, when, he, when he said over this mimer. And one of them was about Anava. Everyone heard tonight about Anava, the Anivut, of Rabbi David. And in the Maimer, in, in Ot Yud, the, Rebbe, the, 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 the previous Rebbe wrote, and the Rebbe spoke about at length, the fact that sometimes Anava is not healthy. And sometimes the Anava causes the Khurban of Beit HaMikdash, like the famous story in the Gemara Gitin, I think Dafnun Hay or Dafnun Vav, Ahmed Aleph, about Kamsa and Bar Kamsa. And it says that because of the Anivut of Zechariah, who said, we can't, we can't use the Korban, and we also can't kill Bar Kamsa because otherwise people are going to think the wrong thing, the Korban happened. And the Gemara asks, why? And it says, because he had Nivuah, and he thought, since he knew that the Korban was going to happen, so who is he to stop it from happening? This has to happen. And the Gemara explains, and the Baal Shem Tov says that the problem is that he forgot and he didn't remember that B'nai Yisrael have the ability to overcome and change even what was predestined. Rabbi David had the Anivut, but he didn't say, Mi Ani Umani. He had the Anivut, but he saw the potential in every single child. Like Rabbi Azenkot spoke before, no child was ever scared of him. They all loved him. He came into the classroom and they all wanted to be close with him because he showed every child that he believes in them, 
and that he knows that they're going to grow, and he helped them. In any other school, in Mifakeach, people are scared. But Rabbi David, everybody loved him. The lesson that we can all learn from this is the love that we have to give to our children, to our students, to our community. Never to prejudge anyone and always to look, to look at that, like Rabbi Azankot said, with the beautiful smile that he had and the way he made everyone feel so comfortable. And Baruch Hashem, we see the Peirot. As everyone said before, Mazaru Bachayim, Afu Bachayim, Baruch Hashem, all of his children are continuing in his way. So he is with us, Baruch Hashem, and he will continue to inspire us. Ad biyad God, Sedek, Bimherav, Yameinu, Amen. Amen.